Good morning, uh, Kev from Leeds Harmonica UK. UK. Um, this is the fourth, I think, video in the Chromatic Chronicles series. If this is the first video you've watched, um, best to go back to the start, really. Uh, but very briefly, I am a diatonic harmonica player and teacher who has always been a little bit frightened of the chromatic. So in this series of videos, I am attempting to learn the chromatic in public for you. Right, um, the purpose of today's video is um, I've been studying the first of David Barrett's chromatic, has chromatic harmonica studies available on bluesharmonica.com. If you subscribe, and you definitely should, no matter what harmonica you want to play or uh, what your skill level is, it's just an astonishing resource. So, what I'm going to do now is I've been playing this song on and off, uh, you know, ten, five, ten minutes or so every day for the last week or so. And there's nothing particularly complicated in it. It's um, the purpose of it really is just to get you used to moving around on the chromatic and um, playing some simple licks. Now the licks are simple, but some of them are very, very cool. So um, I'm going to get to playing, and I know I'm not going to do this perfectly, so what's going to follow is a little montage of me playing. <laughs> Um, then I'm going to talk a little bit about the experience and then, hopefully, at the end, we'll get a good take. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I've got a PDF with the music in front of me. I've got the jam track ready to go and I've slowed it down about 10% to give myself a fighting chance. The harmonica is warm-ish, so let's, whoops, Daisy. let's give this a blast. so frustrating. <clears throat> okay, so the troubles that I'm having are as follows. I haven't memorized the music properly, so I am leaning in to look at the PDF. It'd be much better to have the music on a music stand, print it out, so you can raise your head look at it, because when you lean forward, your tone suffers, because you're scrunching all this up, and you want a nice, big, uh, smooth column of air coming out of there, especially with this thing, because this takes a lot more air than uh, a diatonic does. So that's a problem, so I need to work on that. The other thing is, while I'm concentrating on the music, um, I'm not thinking too much about my technique, and my tone is suffering because of that. Um, you really need to put... 
your whole mouth on this. You go like, okay, ah, hey, it's really weird and uncomfortable. If you think, um, I'm always telling people to open up on the diatonic, and but this is a different level entirely. So I'm struggling with that. Um, that said, doing the previous exercises we did where, um, what, what Barrett called the uh, intuitive approach, just hitting certain holes on the chord changes and stuff. That's definitely helped because um, I've got the sound of it in my head a bit more now. Um, but, you know, it's not that bad. Um, I think, probably, time to go again. <clears throat> That could have been a lot worse. Um, it went okay. All of the problems I talked about earlier are still there, but that's why we practice, right? Um, nothing good comes without practicing. Um, but I think that was okay. I think if I sent that to Barrett for review, he'd probably say it was all right. Um, I do wonder what he would tell me though. Maybe I should do that. 
and see what he says. Actually, I might do that. Anyway, um, I'm quite happy enough with that now, I think, that I'm going to go on to the next song. No, I'm not. What I'm going to do first is um, do some chorus forms with licks on this song. But I'm going to do that in the next video. I think, you know, well, let me know. Was that okay? It's the first time I've tried to play a song on a chromatic. Be kind to me. Um, but I hope that was useful anyway. Um, I'm going to continue to anal an an analyze myself as, uh, as we go along. All right. Take care. I'll see you soon.